Hi, I'm Paul Perdue and I'm the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd and I'm a legal technologist. So many times attorneys want to keep track of their time. How many hours did they get in this week, this month? Did they get them all in? Do they have any changes to make? If they have another staff member putting them in, did they put them all in and get everything that they wanted to bill? And not just the attorneys, the, the, the managing partners, the administrators, they need to keep track of this stuff too. Absolutely. If only there were some sort of report that we could run that would tell us this information. <gasps> there is one. It, there it's is. It's actually the recap of hours report in tabs. Ah, can you show us how that works? I'd be glad to. So I'm going to show you how to use the recap of hours report and how to set some parameters and how to run it in different ways. So the first thing is we have to click on the recap of hours report. It is here on my main screen and it is also under reports, transaction reports, recap of hours report. So it's in, you can either paste it out onto that main tab or uh, task folders or you can come in and get to it from here. Either way opens the same report. So I'm going to go back out to my main, click on recap of hours, and now we get to set a date range and we also get to choose a timekeeper or a range of timekeepers. And we can start each timekeeper on a new page if we decide that we want to run this for more than one. So if you're an admin and you want to print this off at the end of the month and hand it out, you can do it for all timekeepers and just start each one on a new page. You can, if you're an attorney or a paralegal or a timekeeper and you want to run this for yourself, you can just choose yourself here. You also can shade in daily totals if they're less than eight hours, so you can keep track of that. And then you can also choose what you want to include on the report. I can include my daily totals only, I can include zero activity timekeepers, inactive timekeepers, and then I can also print my criteria page. You can set up a parameter for yourself uh, and save it. So if you are an attorney and you want to come in and you want to say, you know, I don't have to set these things every single time, I can choose my date range. And I'm just going to do this for October because I'm in sample data and I want to make sure that I get some time in here. Um, oops, if I can type in my date right. 10, 31, 14. So I'm going to do October and I'm going to do this for timekeeper number one. And I'm going to just say that these parameters are fine. And if this is the way that I run it every month, I can save that parameter and I can give it a name. Timekeeper number one, recap of hours report. And then next time I come in, all I have to do is hit load and choose that report instead of sitting there and choosing these timekeepers and setting all my different selections. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and run this. I'm just going to put in for uh, October timekeeper number one, and I'm going to say OK. I'm going to just preview for our example today. And you'll see you'll get this nice calendar view of all the time that has been put in for Michael Jensen. So down here, I, can, I have the 8th. 0.2 of billable and I have 0.2 non-billable. So it's going to show me both billable and non-billable on separate line items. And then all the way across to the end, I'll have a total for the week. And then at the very bottom of the report, I have a total for the date range that I selected, in my case, for one month. So I know that I have a total of 54.83 billable and 0.2 non-billable. If I wanted to see what this time consisted of, I can click on it. You, anything I can uh, highlight that is highlighted in yellow is drilled down and I can go and look at these entries. So 7.5, I want to know what consisted of that 7.5 hours on the 14th. So I click on it and I have these three cases that I worked on and how much and the description and I can see everything that I just did uh, on those days. I also can drill down even further and click on this and make changes or edits. Now these are archived, these have already been billed, but if these were still in WIP, I could actually change the description and the hours and all of those things. Um, so let's click on one, and I just double clicked it, and it's telling me that they can't be selected because they're archived. So let me see if I can find one that is in WIP. And of course, my example here is probably going to be all billed because I'm in October. Um, but on our next selection, when I come through, you can actually click on those and you would be able to go down and change them. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So know that you can see all of the time consisted just by a click, and then you can, again, click to make any changes. The other good thing about this report is I can see all the days that I don't have time, and I can try to figure out why. Was I on vacation that week? Was I in court? Did I miss some time that I should have in here? Why do I only have three hours for this week? And so on. So it's a very informative report to help you make sure that you are getting the maximum billable time that you should by week, month, day. Um, again, I'm going to run this again for November. 
and we will see if I can get a little bit more time in there that is not filled yet. So I'll say okay. Now this date, since we're in sample data, there's not that much time in here. Um, but here's some whip time. So I want to show you now how you can go in and you can modify. So as long as this doesn't say archived in here, I can change it. So I'm going to go in with the telephone conference with Paul Perdue and I'm going to look at this and say, oh, that shouldn't have been point 0.2, that should have been point 0.4. I'm going to go ahead and make my change and I'm going to save it. Um, you could also come in here and you could add to the description. You could change the timekeeper if it was incorrect. Um, you're really only looking at your timekeeper um, number here, so you know that, that probably wouldn't be something you would change on your recap, but it is available. Anything that you have here um, that you normally could change in a time entry, you can access and do. If you needed to make this a non-billable entry, you could change that and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And once I save it, I'm going to get back out to my um, recap of hours report. And now if I refresh this, my time will change from 1.2 to 1.4. And again, my totals are at the bottom. Now November, again, this is sample data. I have very few entries in the, the system date, which it thinks is November, but it would actually change and whatever you have, and you'd get a full account of everything that you've done. You can print this report. When you print, it's only going to be this calendar view, but it gives you that quick overview of what you did that month. So very helpful report. Remember that you can save your parameters. Remember you can pick some different uh, things down here for your criteria. And you can run this for any date range and for any timekeeper. This is a report that can be restricted. If you have chosen timekeepers um, in your user setup, uh, let's say that you have a paralegal that only has rights to see two timekeepers time. When you do the recap of hours report, if I tried to do this report for any attorney that I do not have rights to, I would get nothing. So you can lock this down so that you don't see other timekeepers' time. A lot of times firms don't want associates to be able to see partner time, or but they do want partners to be able to see all of the associates' time. So these are all things that can be set up in system configuration and you can also block this report completely. So if you don't want any of the attorneys to have rights to this and you just want your administrator to be able to do this, you can restrict this one report and say that they don't have rights to it. So there you have it, the recap of hours report. And that's just one more way that we can help you to worry less and practice more.